Hi everyone. This is me and Hermie here for, at my house. Um, happy Saturday night to you all. We, um, if you've been around my office or maybe down in the kids zone room, you will probably know and have met Marley. Marley is a friend of ours at Northminster. And uh, of course she's not at the church right now either. She is doing the right thing and staying home just like most of us are. But I thought we could go visit her. So we're going to now head over to Marley's house because she wants to say hi and see how you're all doing. So hi to Marley. How are you doing, Marley? Hi there. This is me, Marley, and I'm here at home and I'm, I'm practicing all the self-isolation stuff and I'm washing my hands and, and I bet you are too. So I just wanted to say hi. Um, I've learned so much this week about you know, the Zoom and the, the Google Classroom and all the ways we can, we can talk to each other and do our schoolwork. So, so yeah, I've, I've been doing lots of thinking. And do you remember that story of, you know, Noah, Noah and the Ark and how Noah built this really big boat called an Ark? And then when this big storm came along, Noah and his family and a bunch of animals they went on to the ark until the end of the storm. There's many, many, many different ki kinds of, of stories from all around the world that talk about big storms and big floods. And, um, well, I guess these stories have been passed on from generation to generation. They talked about the stories and they remembered them. And so over the years, people kept telling them. So I guess lots of people have been through stormy times. I, I kind of feel stormy right now, actually. Um, you know, I can't be in church right now and I can't go to the park and I can't play with my friends. And, and so maybe that makes you feel stormy a bit too right now. So hearing the story of Noah and the ark makes me feel like I'm not alone in this. When you play with your toys, do you sometimes lose pieces along the way? I do. I lose my pieces. And so some of the pieces get left behind. And then, well, eventually the missing pieces turn up, like they're under the bed or the bottom of my toy box. And I love that I can be at home with all my favorite things. But, but not being at school and not at my activities, it, it makes me feel like, well, it makes me feel like I've lost a few of my toys. But, but that's okay. I know that at the end of the story of Noah, do you know what happened? A dove came back to the ark with a green branch to say the storm was over and, and that Noah and all the animals could return to dry land. And, and something else amazing happened in that story at the very end. What God did is God put a really big rainbow up in the sky and and it was just so beautiful. And it was this big, bright, beautiful sign in the sky that everything was gonna be okay. So, so here's what I'm gonna do. And maybe you, can, maybe you can help me. I'm going to draw rainbows all week. I'm gonna draw rainbows all week because rainbows make me really happy. And, and I might put some of the rainbows in my freight window or I might draw rainbows on the sidewalk with chalk. Or maybe I'll tape a picture of a rainbow to my neighbor's door. And, and then Reverend Nancy, she said at church that she wanted to see some of my rainbow art too. And so maybe she'll use it at church some Sunday if I send her the pictures. So I'll, I'll send her some rainbow pictures this week too. So maybe you can do rainbow pictures with me all week. I already feel like my stormy feelings are going away and these rainbows can be reminders that we're not alone and that, well, there will be big rainbows after our stormy time. Okay, bye for now. I look forward to seeing your rainbows. Bye. Thanks so much, Marley. Good to see you're doing okay at home. And I love the idea of 
us all creating as many rainbows as we can to remind us of hope after the storm and just to cheer everybody up. And yes, I would love to see your art. So please take pictures of your rainbows, have someone in your house uh, message them to me, text me, email me, whatever you can do. Cause I'd love to see your art and maybe share your rainbows with people at church next Sunday. Thanks again, stay well, and we'll see you soon. Bye from me and Hermie. Bye for now.